Well, in the Middle East, Israel is amassing tanks and jets along the Israeli-Gaza border, but so far they haven't moved into Gaza. Both Israel and Hamas are denying a ceasefire agreement that would allow foreign nations to evacuate or let aid in. Now, hundreds of people have gathered at Gaza's southern border, desperate for a path out of the war zone. Meanwhile, United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken is returning to Israel. He's reaffirming the United States support and trying to find a way to rescue hostages and find all of those unaccounted for. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest. Growing crowds, growing desperation at the still closed Rafah border crossing from Gaza into Egypt. Palestinian civilians with foreign passports, including hundreds of Americans, waiting for the gates to open to get out of the war zone and allow aid to flow in. The patients are screaming in pain. There is nothing to alleviate their suffering. And so to bring in the humanitarian supplies, obviously water is a huge issue as well. Secretary of State Antony Blinken returning to Israel, pressing for relief for Gaza's humanitarian crisis while reaffirming U.S. support. You know our deep commitment to Israel's right, indeed its obligation, to defend itself and to defend its people. The Israeli military has troops massed at the border but has not yet launched a ground invasion after warning civilians to get out of northern Gaza and amid negotiations to free roughly 200 hostages Hamas militants took from Israel into Gaza in their brutal terror attack. The International Red Cross in direct talks with Hamas. We're demanding the immediate release of these hostages. Uh, and also access so we can check on their well-being. While here at home, the head of the FBI warned of a rise in anti-Semitic and other violent extremism. In Illinois, a six-year-old Palestinian-American boy was stabbed to death in his home. His mother seriously injured, their landlord now charged with murder and anti-Muslim hate crimes. Cease fire now! As today, hundreds of Jewish Americans and allies march to the White House, calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and praying for peace. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.